In today's video, we'll take a look at string padding and how we can properly print them on the screen. So here we have two variables. We have the year and the month, and they are both strings, right? And I want to just print them on the screen, right? I just want to say, okay, well, year, and then I'm going to concatenate the word year onto it so I know wh what it is. And then same thing with the month, right? So I'm going to do month, and there it is. Now, if I were to run this, you'll notice, okay, that looks fine, but it's not at all aligned, right? We... We have the values on the left, but on the right, they're not aligned uh, to a column. So you can kind of know, okay, well, this uh, corresponds with this and this with this, and you know, like, which is which. And if you were to have multiple columns and more values down the line, it's going to be very, very difficult to find out which is which, right? In some cases, this is very important, especially if, if you're actually uh, writing to a file, for example. So how can we actually fix this? Well. Uh, you might notice that if we were to add um, two spaces right after the month and before the month word, we would actually have them aligned, right? So, okay, this works for this situation, but what if we have a value up top that has more than four characters? So that's going to be more complicated to actually pad. It's not just four, it's more uh, spaces to add. And what if the month is just... Uh, the digit three, then you have to add three characters. So you have to take that into consideration. So it's going to be a pretty significant algorithm in your code. But as it turns out, there's actually a string method that you can call to pad automatically a string with a certain character to a certain length. So for example, I can say for the month, right? I have here two characters, but I want this guy to pad, right? To just pad at the beginning or at the end, I don't know. We can say at the end here, and I want it to pad up until it has four characters, right? Because right now it only has two. So you're gonna pad up until it has four characters from the, well, uh, beginning, right? So if I run this now, you'll notice the difference. Now they are properly aligned and we have two spaces right before the uh, month itself. We could actually, fix it basically the same way by having the padding on the right by saying instead of pad start, pad end here. And if we were to do this, you'll notice we would get the same alignment just onto the right like uh, we wanted in the beginning. So how does this work? Well, uh, basically the pad methods, what they do is they look at uh, the target length and they say, okay, well, is this string uh, the same length as the target length? No. If it's not, then I'm going to either add at the end of the string, if it's pad end, or I'm going to add at the beginning of the string, if it's pad start, spaces, right? And what it did here is add two more spaces at the end because our month was only two characters long and we wanted four. We can actually bump this up to say eight, for example. And if I run this now, you'll notice it's not aligned anymore. That's because we need to have the same amount of characters for every single column for this to work. So we will need to also pad the ear in this case. We're gonna have to have the same exact padding as with the month. And now you'll notice they are both aligned and I can also add those spaces at the beginning of uh, the string. So I can say pad start in the same way I did with pad end. And if I run this now, you'll notice they are still aligned but we have added not from the right all the spaces. We don't move the string to the left. We move the string to the right because we have added at the beginning of the uh, string spaces. Now, the cool part about these uh, methods is that instead of just taking in the target length, you can also pass in a uh, string to pad with. So you can actually customize it even more, even further. So instead of, let's say, instead of having just spaces, what if we want to have, I don't know, for example, uh, asterisk, just an asterisk. You can actually pass in as a second parameter, the uh, string that you want to pad with. So if I uh, run this now, you'll notice that the ear is now with uh, asterisks and it still it's aligned, we just have a different character. And we can do the same with this guy. We can say, okay, underscore, for example, and it's going to work just fine. An interesting part about this uh, little string is that you can actually have more than just one character here. You can say, let's say star and underscore here. 
And if we were to run this, you'll notice I'm going to just pad it with star underscore star underscore and so on. But the problem, well, this will work even if we have, for example, seven here instead. So it's going to, it's going to add just star underscore star, right? With uh, omitting basically underscore, right? It's going to kind of uh, cut the uh, padding in the middle. And it's like padding basically a pattern there. And that's about it with padding. Basically, if you want to align at columns, you have to have the same uh, padding either on the left or on the right. It doesn't really matter as long as uh, they have the same length. And you kind of have to have this number higher than uh, any, any value in here. So here seven is higher, like the length seven is higher than the length of ear, which is four and the length of mouth, which, which is two, right? But if I were to have a string that is, I don't know, 10 characters long, I would have to choose a larger pad so that everything is still aligned, right? I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. See you next time. Bye.